UFC 287 just took place. And in the co-main event, this man, Gilbert Burns, got a W against Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal retired, and a lot of people are talking, including Gilbert Burns, about Gilbert Burns getting a title shot next. And I'm here to say he doesn't fucking deserve it, dude. Colby doesn't deserve it. Gilbert doesn't deserve it. I'm here to tell you why, and I'm here to tell you who does deserve the title shot. Okay? So Gilbert Burns, he beat Jorge Masvidal. You know? Pretty chill win. Um, not exactly like this domination. It was a pretty like one-sided fight. Um, Jorge had decent moments, but I just think he didn't do enough in the fight and just seemed like he really didn't want to be there, to be honest. So um, definitely just passed it and I uh, probably shouldn't have picked him. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, not going against Burns here because I picked wrong and I'm mad. It's because he legitimately does not deserve a title shot and he's acting like it's so obvious that he deserves a title shot that he's talking about he's going to sit out if he doesn't get one. Bro, look at your last two wins, dude. Alright, let's let's hear Gilbert Burns' case for the UFC title shot. Number one, he said, I said yes to everyone the UFC offered me. Alright, who's the UFC who's the people that the UFC offered him? Number one, Hamza Shemaev. Okay, fair play. Took that fight. Didn't have to take that fight. He was I believe he was coming off losing to to Usman or he beat Steve, he beat Wonderboy Thompson and he had lost to Usman, right? Okay, and then he fought Shemaev, who was ranked number eleven. Um so he beat Wonderboy. Then fought Chimaev, who was ranked number 11. Um, but it's like, okay, yeah, you fought him. You lost to him. You lost to the number 11 ranked guy. Okay. I understand, though. He said yes to that. He didn't have to take it. Then he said, he goes, yeah, I said yes to all these guys the UFC gave me. Who? Neil Magny, bro? Neil Magny, who was ranked number 12. And let's just fucking check this guy's record before that fight. Because, yeah, this guy's real dangerous, dude. Yeah, Neil Magny, that's a guy I'm really, really scared of if I'm in the welterweight division. Um, fucking, oh, who do you fight? Max Griffin, bro? Beat, split decision to Max Griffin. Oh, sorry. Uh, lost to Shavkat Rachmanov. Believe was unranked. My cat. Leave, bro. Bye. Anyways, back to what I was saying. I fucking hate her, bro. She's leaving. Alright, lost to Shavkat Rachmanov. Then barely beats Daniel Rodriguez, dude. Barely beats Daniel Rodriguez, was like behind in this fight. Gets a, gets a submission in round three over fucking Daniel Rodriguez, by the way. And this is the killer that Gilbert Burns, oh my god, he said yes to Neil Magny. Oh my god, give this man a title shot. And then who else does he say yes to? Last fight that gets him a title shot is fucking Jorge Masvidal, who's ranked number 11 somehow. Despite being 0-3 in his last three fights, it got finished brutally. And he took the fight basically as a retirement fight. Was talking about retirement all fucking week. And this is the fight that gets you a title shot. Now, obviously, I understand that Colby Covington is also only coming off one win, which is Masvidal. Um, but, you know, if we're talking about who has a better chance at the title shot, look at how Colby did against Usman versus how Burns did against Usman. Burns got fucking destroyed, bro. <laughs> Burns got fucking destroyed, dude. Like, I like Gilbert Burns. Okay, let me be clear on this. Do I understand why the fans want him to get a title shot? Yes. Yes, I understand why. He's said yes to Chimaev. He's, he's fought guys below him. You know, not a lot of top five fighters will do that. Respects to Gilbert Burns. I like Gilbert Burns. Okay, I'm a fan of Gilbert Burns. Do I want him to get a title shot? Yes. But does he fucking deserve one? No, bro. You know who does? This guy. Fucking Bilal Muhammad, dude. I'm here to talk about fucking Bilal Muhammad, dude. Bilal Muhammad has also said yes to everything the UFC offered him. Okay. He's also fought guys ranked below him that he didn't have to fight. He could have easily just sat around and fucking asked for big fights. He fought Sean Brady, who was ranked top 10. I think he was ranked number 8 or some, number 7 or some shit. Finished him, who was undefeated, by the way. See what happens when you fight an undefeated guy and you win? Obviously, Sean Brady fucking sucks, but regardless, was top 10, so it doesn't suck that bad. Beat fucking who else? Vicente Luque, who was, I believe, ranked number 5 when he fought him. Wonderboy Thompson. Another top 10 opponent who Bilal Muhammad fucking destroyed. Beat him way more convincingly than fucking Gilbert Burns did. Right? Even though Gilbert Burns is this monster. He is, but let's, let's just remember that Bilal Muhammad dominated Stephen Thompson. Basically shut down Damian Meyer's entire game. Retired him. Okay. And we're talking about, oh, this guy's fucking... Gilbert Burns is a BMF. Gilbert Burns is, will say yes to anyone. Does anybody remember the fact that uh, Bilal Muhammad was coming off a win over fucking Diego Lima and said, yes, I will fight number three ranked Leon Edwards on a week's notice. 
when he's been training to fight Hamza Chamayev, which is a wrestler. Yeah. Yeah, bro. But Bilal Muhammad has no fucking... Yeah, he's not a BMF, bro. He's not a badass, dude. He has no claim to the title. He literally stepped up and fought number three on a couple days' notice, and it was a no contest. So he didn't lose that fight, even though everyone likes to be like, oh, yeah, dude, Leon smashed him. Leon destroyed him. Leon beat him. That was a no contest, bro. We have no idea how that fight could have ended. Especially the way that Leon gassed out against Usman after putting on a high pace early on as well. Um, do I think Leon Edwards would have won that fight? Fucking probably. But he didn't. There was no contest. And if you look at their resumes, who is... Well, look at the streak that fucking Gilbert Burns is on. He's on like a nine-fight winning streak versus Gilbert Burns, who's beat two guys in a row that are not even top ten, that are coming off losses. Like, and coming off just terrible performances, okay? Bilal Muhammad is on a better win streak against higher-ranked guys, has also said yes to everything the UFC has given, is calling out Kamaru Usman, who he doesn't have to fucking fight, who probably turned him down, let's be honest. He's called out Shavkat Rachmanov, who no one fucking wants to fight, including Gilbert Burns. You notice how he's not calling out Shavkat, even though he's like, bro, I want a title shot, I deserve a title shot. Why don't you call out Shavkat then, bro? He's the one that everyone's talking about is getting the next title shot. So why don't you call out Shavkat and go, all right, I'll fight you, bro. I already fought Chimaev. Where are you calling him out? Bilal's willing to fight Gilbert Burns. He's called out Chimaev. All these guys that no one else wants to fight. Let's be fucking real here, dude. Let's be, let's just say it how it like, let's say it how it is. Bilal Muhammad deserves the title shot more than fucking Gilbert Burns, more than Colby Covington, more than Hamza Chimaev. Like, what the fuck are we doing, bro? Gilbert Burns is talking about, oh, I'm going to sit out if I don't get a title shot. You don't fucking deserve one. You literally don't deserve one. Look at your current streak. Two fucking wins, dude. Two wins. Masvidal and Magni, bro. Wow. Good job, buddy. Good fucking work, dude. What a kid, What a murderous row that is. Versus, let's look at Bilal Muhammad. Current streak, eight wins. Eight wins. Sean Brady, undefeated. Vicente Luque, top five. Stephen Thompson, top ten. Damian Meyer, top ten. Leon Edwards, top five. Like, what the, bro, come on, dog, come on, bro, what does this guy have to fucking do, dude, what does Bilal Muhammad have to do, he literally deserves this shot more than all these fucking guys, and he's calling them all out, and the UFC is, like, not, like, ignoring it, so I just don't really understand the whole narrative here of, oh, give Gilbert Burns a title shot, and it's really weird to me as well, none of the fans that I see are, like, calling out Gilbert Burns, for literally wanting to do the exact same thing that Colby Covington is doing right now to the division. Everyone, when Colby Covington got... And everyone, when Dana said Colby Covington is getting the next title shot. Everyone's fucking up in arms. No, he doesn't deserve it, bro. He doesn't deserve it, dude. Dude, what the fuck? He's literally only beat Masvidal. Gilbert Burns calls for a title shot. Not a fucking word. Everyone's like, yo, yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Gilbert's BMF, dude. Neil Magny, bro. BMF, dude. Neil fucking Magny, bro. Really, dude? Really, bro? Really, bro. Really, dude. So beating Neil Magny makes you the fucking BMF, dude. Really, does it now? Like, what? Like, oh, bro, he got absolutely manhandled by fucking Michael Chiesa, like, three fights ago, dude. This guy is not fucking, like, oh my god. I just don't understand. I like Gil Burns. Just fight Bilal Muhammad. Dude, this is the easiest solution ever. The UFC should just have fucking... Gilbert Burns versus Bilal Muhammad. Shavkat versus Kamaru Usman. Boom. Done. Division solved. Let's all stop trying to sit out and fucking wait for title shots when our best win right now is fucking Neil Magny, dude. Sorry. You don't deserve a title shot. Bilal Muhammad does. So UFC, listen to me right now. Either give Bilal Muhammad a title shot or tell Gilbert Burns, sit him down and go, listen up, buddy. You don't deserve a fucking title shot, dude. Losing to Hamza Chemaev doesn't make you more deserving than Colby Covington losing to Kamaru Usman twice. You both don't deserve it. So either take the fights that we give you, stop sitting around, or fucking fight Bilal Muhammad, or get the fuck out of here, bro. Because I'm sick of all these top contenders sitting around. It's, it's exactly the same as fucking Dustin Poirier and Justin Gaethje. At least Gaethje is, like, realistic and saying, no, nah, dude, i got to fight somebody. I want to fight Poirier, then I want a title shot, and then I'm fucking done. Dude, but Burns, you just beat number 11. You're talking about I'm refusing to fight unless I got a title shot. Fuck off, bro. Literally, what are you talking about, dude? And he's acting like, oh, I'll be the backup, so I'll be the title fighter. Like, um, I've said yes to everything the UFC said. None of these other guys are doing it. Bilal Muhammad has been doing it. 
for three fucking years, dude. And he's on an eight fight winning streak and he's never been left crying in the octagon from a jab. He got eye poked, bro. That was a bit dramatic from Bilal Muhammad. And why does he look like fucking French? Mo why does he look like NBA heads? Why does he have the Carlos Boozer fucking haircut right now? But regardless, dude, he's not. Dude, Gilbert Burns, you don't deserve it, dude. Stop fucking crying, bro. You don't deserve it. Sit out on the sidelines and see how that goes for you, bro. I love you, Gilbert Burns, but you're tripping, bro. Colby Covington, you don't deserve it either. Hamza Chamaev, I don't know why the fuck you're calling out every champion, bro. You're lucky to be getting a fight with fucking Paulo Costa after sitting out, missing weight against Nate Diaz, and your last win is fucking Kevin Holland, who's unranked. Shut the fuck up. These divisions are so fucking stupid, bro. I literally need to be running the UFC with these matchmakings, bro. But uh, yeah, dude, that's my thoughts on the welterweight top, top fucking division, bro. Give Bilal Muhammad a title shot. It's not a joke. He literally deserves it more than everybody else in this division. It's not even close. He shouldn't... He's the one that shouldn't have to be fighting anybody else. Not fucking Gilbert Burns. Bro, I'm sorry. I don't give a fuck that you beat Masvidal and you beat fucking Magni, bro. Like, like I don't care, bro. Like, you don't get street... You don't get points from me as a as a matchmaker for losing to Shemayev. That was an awesome fight. It was a very close fight, but you lost. Okay? And you, you your last wins are Masvidal and Magni, bro. Relax. You're not getting a title shot. You don't have the power to sit around. So that's my thoughts on the welterweight division. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down below, bro. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. If you're part of the Balaam Nation, all right. <laughs> and make sure you subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at bedtime MMA. And yeah, boys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.